Item number SCP-1322 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-1322 is to be contained in a sealed spherical Class 8 containment chamber with additive inner surface hardened against particle beams, nuclear and conventional explosions and corrosives and regularly inspected for damage and monitored for viral and, and bacterial contamination. Atmospheric pressure within the containment chamber should be maintained at as low a level as practical. In Procedure 1322.CD.S311 is to be initiated if atmospheric pressure should exceed 6 by 10 to the negative squared Pascal. As an anti-pathogenic measure, radiation levels within the containment chamber should be maintained at no less than 4.5 Rankins per second. Consult document 1322CSSRV0886 for addenda to contain protocol, as protocol is updated on a daily basis. Description SCP-1322 is a stable space-time anomaly, presently hypothesized interdimensional aperture to a parallel universe. The anomaly occupies a fixed location around which Site-122 has been constructed in order to study and contain it. The anomaly is roughly ellipsoid in shape, measuring approximately 2.5 centimeters along its longer horizontal axis and approximately 1 cm along its vertical axis. The anomaly is two-dimensional and coplanar with a plane perpendicular to the horizon and oriented approximately 36 degrees west of true north. Matter and energy are capable of passing through the anomaly in a manner of transversible wormhole. When lighting conditions in this Space in the near vicinity of the other side of the wormhole permit, the space on the other side of the wormhole can be directly observed. Particles and objects of a cross section not exceeding the anomaly's dimensions are capable of being inserted into the anomaly and thus transported into the parallel universe. The anomaly does not conduct sound. The parallel universe on the other side of the anomaly has been officially designated SCP-1322-A, although the term HARDO, an approximate phonetic rendering of the term for homeworld, used by the population of SCP-1322-A with whom communication has been established, has also been clinically used. The anomaly appears to have been artificially and deliberately generated from the SCP-1322-A side. The population of SCP-1322-A does not appear to have been successful in generating additional instances of SCP-1322, nor in altering SCP-1322's dimensions or crossing it, notwithstanding extensive efforts on their part to do so. The anomaly appears to have emerged in the standard universe in approximately the year 1952, with the Foundation promptly establishing control over the anomaly's location. Although the Foundation had initially conducted an extensive study program of SCP-1322, including communication with the civilization on the other side of SCP-1322, recent Foundation efforts have focused on containment. See containment and observation log excerpts below. Time reference. Remarks. August 1952. Anomaly discovered. September 1952. Foundation obtains custody over SCP-1322. Containment chamber constructed. See document 1322V SRD 3006 for plans and technical specifications. October 1952. Metallic cylinder merges through anomaly. Cylinder is retrieved and subjected to quarantine and sterilization. Following clearance, cylinder is examined and found to be hollow with screw cap. Cylinder contains triangular sheets of paper-like substance, 
upon which glyphs are inscribed, artifact reference to a linguistics unit. November 1952, experimentation with SCP-1322 progresses, including introduction of various string-tethered objects through anomaly. Samples taken of atmosphere in SCP-1322-A space found to resemble Earth atmosphere, but with a higher concentration of argon. December 1952, several additional cylinders containing documents emerge through SCP-1322 and, after quarantine, are subjected to analysis. July 1953 Linguistics and Mathematics present now report breakthrough and analysis of documents obtained from SCP-1322-A. Message on glyphs interpreted as representations of geometric principles and text apparently composed with a deliberate purpose of establishing cordial contact with the discoverers of the message. Linguistics unit composes reply message using same writing system, print saying on paper, places paper in a metal cylinder of foundation manufacture, but resembling those used by SCP-1322-A culture, an insert cylinder into anomaly. September 1953 Light activated on far side of anomaly. Close observation of anomaly indicates that far side of anomaly is located in what appears to be an artificially constructed containment chamber broadly similar to that constructed by Foundation for Containment of Anomaly. October 1953, approximate start date of extensive communication with SCP-1322-A civilization. Communication usually consists of reciprocal delivery of text messages on paper. First, in the system in which initial messages were composed, which is determined to be a simplified form of the standard written language of the SCP-1322-A civilization, and subsequently in a mutually developed blend of said language system and English. Communication accelerated when SCP-1322-A civilization proposes the construction of a telegraphic system involving a specially shielded cable traversing the anomaly with reciprocal Go equipment for the encoding and decoding of communication on both ends. November 1953. Communications with SCP 1322 A civilization indicates that civilization is composed of Homo sapiens, or a species not meaningfully different therefrom. Organization with whom communication has been established is a scientific institute associated with the party comprising the geographic area surrounding the SCP-1322-A site location of the anomaly, approximately analogous to a nation-state. Details of political organization and technologies of the SCP-1322-A civilization are disclosed. SCP-1322-A civilization has attained an advanced degree of technological and engineering sophistication, particularly in the field of mathematics and high energy physics, in which that civilization's achievements surpassed those of Earth. For example, with the creation of the anomaly as an unintended consequence of an experiment to investigate the properties of quantum form but with less sophistication on biological science. SCP-1322-A civilization expresses strong interest in sharing samples of music, visual arts, literature, particularly audit poetry in various languages, with a particular interest in Indic and Cynic cultures and mathematics, but no interest in medicine or religion. Reciprocal deliveries of data from SCP-1322-A Civilization or Archive and Undergo Analysis January 1962 SCP-1322-A Civilization provides detailed log of astronomical observations and suggests that Foundation reciprocate. Analysis of provided data by Foundation's researchers suggests a strong probability that there is no position within our observable universe that can correlate to the provided data. 
Foundation President now assembled data file for delivery to SCP-1322-A. Data is altered at direction of Site-122 Administrator citing security concerns. Within nine hours following delivery of data file, SCP-1322-A civilization identifies the false information and suggests that Foundation President now proceed with more candor in the interest of mutual scientific and cultural development. Suggestion forwarded to O5 for consideration. November 1972, telegraphic cable through SCP-1322 temporarily disconnected and withdrawn into the containment chamber for routine maintenance. Following maintenance, SCP-1322-A cable end is reinserted into SCP-1322, where SCP-1322-A personnel reconnected to equipment on their side. December 1972, communication received from SCP-1322-A indicating that a temporary degradation in the customary response time to signals from Foundation would be experienced due to personnel shortages on SCP-1322-A side. In response to a query, message sent by SCP-1322-A side indicating that the organization having custody of their side of SCP-1322 is experiencing a higher than normal instance of personnel illness resulting in absenteeism. January 1973, message sent by SCP-1322-A side reporting that its personnel situation is back to normal but that illness is becoming widespread in the geographic area of the SCP-1322-A facility. March 1973, message sent by SCP-1322-A side indicating that local government is imposing quarantine measures in an effort to arrest spread of what is evidently a viral outbreak on the side. In response to a foundation offer to render assistance, SCP-1322-A Civilization delivers data package containing pathology data. April 1973, after appropriate quarantine measures are taken at Site-122, Foundation requests that SCP-1322-A Civilization deliver a sample of the virus. Sample is delivered through SCP-1322, an appropriately shielded embryo, which is then secured and analyzed subject to Class 5 Contagious Disease Protocol. See document reference 03323498. Upon analysis, virus found to be a harmless blue variant. Foundation researchers sent analysis data to SCP-1322-A, together with suggestions on synthesizing a vaccine and administering inoculation protocols. June 1973, SCP-1322-A reports at least 8 million worldwide casualties attributable to virus, approximately 0.091% of their global population, and that foundation-developed vaccine has been distributed and administered on a widespread basis. August 1973, SCP-1322-A reports that spread of virus appears to have been arrested and that the number of new instances of illness from the virus is dramatically decreasing. October 1973, SCP-1322-A reports worldwide inoculation against the virus. December 1973, in the course of normal communications, SCP-1322-A reports an unexpected decrease in new pregnancies. May 1974, SCP-1322-A reports a dramatic drop in birth rate. August 1974, SCP-1322-A reports and its analysis indicates that decreases in fertility appeared to be a side effect of the Foundation-provided vaccine. January 1975, SCP-1322-A reports widespread social disorder attributable to fertility issues and corresponding stresses on family life. In response to Foundation offer of assistance, message received stating, No thank you. You have done enough. May 1975, 
change in management structure of SCP-1322-A organization with custody of this side of SCP-1322. Communications received from their side are frequently belligerent and accusatory in tone. July 1975 SCP-1322-A organization unilaterally discontinues communications dealing with scientific and cultural exchange. September 1975 SCP-1322-A organization reports massive ongoing worldwide upheaval attributable to drop in fertility. Message received and indicating fewer than 1,000 live births reported globally in the past 72 days. October 1975 Last communication received from SCP-1322-A. Communication consists of text reading. You killed us! You did this to us! In your carelessness and in your arrogance, you have destroyed our posterity! But we shall avenge! We of the last generation pledged and vowed this! We will find a way! December 1976 Monitors in SCP-1322 containment chamber indicate that various pathogens had been introduced into the containment chamber from the SCP-1322-A side, but have been isolated and destroyed. January 1977 High-energy particle being fired through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side, damaging Site-122 containment chamber, Damage is promptly repaired. March 1984 High energy beam of coherent energy fired through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side immediately followed by the insertion of various pathogens through SCP-1322. Damage from beam repaired and pathogens isolated and destroyed. August 1984 Directed energy weapon fired through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side, immediately followed by the insertion of various pathogens through SCP-1322. Damage from the weapon repaired and pathogens isolated and destroyed. April 1991 Beam weapon fired through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side, immediately followed by the insertion of various pathogens through SCP-1322. Damage from being repaired and pathogens isolated and destroyed. June 1991 At direction of Site-122 Administrator, Foundation fills containment chamber of SCP-1322 with a quick-setting hardened ceramic. July 1991, ceramic dissolved by means of unknown solvent introduced through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side. September 1992, high energy particle beam fired through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side, immediately followed by the insertion of nanobots through SCP-1322. Damage from beam repaired and nanobots isolated and destroyed. October 1992 Large numbers of nanobots inserted through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side over a long and continuous period. Damage to containment chamber from nanobots repaired and nanobots destroyed. January 1994 Iron Rod at least 8 kilometers in mass Fired through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side at facility estimated at 200 km per second, immediately followed by the insertion of nanobots through SCP-1322, damage from what repaired and nanobots isolated and destroyed. December 1994 Beam of coherent radiant energy fired through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side for over 108 continuous days. Total energy of beam over the period estimated at over 10 to the power of 33 EEV. Site-122 extensively damaged, but
but pathogens and nanobots introduced through SCP-1322 after cessation of particle beam are successfully contained. March 1995 The device inserted into chamber through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side Device is activated and over a 40 minute period heats the atmosphere within the containment chamber into a superheated plasma, which damages containment chamber. Plasma is successfully rented from chamber and containment protocol altered so as to require chamber atmospheric pressure to be maintained at near vacuum. February 2nd, 1998. Mineralized two stage thermonuclear weapon of incompletely understood design introduced through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side and detonated. Site-122 extensively damaged by pathogens and nanobots introduced through SCP-1322 after detonations are successfully contained. July 2006 Corrosive fluid pumped into containment chamber through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side under extremely high pressure. Pressurization of fluid continues after chamber is filled, resulting in damage to containment chamber. Pathogens and nanobots introduced through SCP-1322 after removal of fluid are successfully destroyed and facility repaired. April 2007 a direction of Site-122 Administrator, remotely operated mineral ice probe placed in containment chamber and commanded to approach SCP-1322. When probe came within 3 meters of SCP-1322, a series of iron rods, each at least 8 kilometers in mass, provide through SCP-1322 at high velocities, comparable to that experience on January 1994 incident. Rods destroyed probe and caused extensive damage to Site-122, which was promptly repaired. November 2008 Gas of unknown composition introduced into chamber through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side under pressure. Following introduction, additional substances introduced through SCP-1322 resulting in an extremely rapid Phase change of gas into solid with greater intermolecular separation than gas, which exerts pressure on chamber sides, resulting in extensive damage. Solid then rapidly evaporates, following which pathogens and nanobots are introduced. Pathogens and nanobots destroyed and facility repaired. June 20 Beep Several miniaturized thermonuclear weapons introduced through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side and detonated, followed by several high-energy particle beams being fired through SCP-1322 from the SCP-1322-A side at various angles. Site-122 extensively damaged, but pathogens and nanobots introduced through SCP-1322 after cessation of particle beams are successfully contained.